21st to 23rd of July. It's a weekend camp. Friday, Saturday, we come back. Sunday, should I say late afternoon? Yes, so please, let's, let's, let's all go. All of us are going. Tracy. Because he gave me that purpose. I think it all comes back to knowing God. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay, so I wanted to add to what Leah said. Um, to walk in victory, you have to renew your mindset. Because the Bible keeps telling us that we should be renewed, we should be transformed by the renewal mm -hmm. of our minds. So if you know Christ and then your mindset is still that kind of, you know, I'll feel, I'll do this, you will not walk in the like reality of that victory. But if you begin to renew your mind and tell yourself that you're a conqueror, or oh, this mountain before me is so small, like that kind of thing, then you begin to walk in the reality of the victory. It sounds, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. It sounds very easy. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not easy, yeah. but like you have to change yourself because <laughs> yes, you have to change yourself. Yeah. Nothing comes by chance. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. So, just came back from Ahava. Um, Ahava means Fellowship of Love. It's under Christ for Youth International, and we're a youth fellowship. We meet every Wednesday. Hey, no, we meet every Wednesday. And it's one of the highlights of my week. Um, I joined in Kigali. And I mean, detaching myself because I was very, very attached to Ahava Kigali. I mean, finding young people in another country, you know, going through the same experiences and also bonding over, you know, trying to develop a relationship with God. It was quite a bonding experience right so i mean coming back home and joining ahava east ligon was quite a struggle but i also knew that i wanted to be in that kind of space and join a fellowship with young people who are also trying to navigate and learn more about god and things so it, it took me a while i have to admit i was very re uh, resistant in the beginning but it has grown to be one of the highlights of my week i love like i always look forward to wednesday so if i'm having a bad week i know that at least wednesday evening i am sorted i'm going to have a good time and um, with god and with other people and i've 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 slowly grown to try to make myself useful and um, you know as a developing adult <laughs> um i i mean growing up i used to reserve myself a lot you know under the guise of oh i'm shy or you know my insecurities and a, a little a combination of the things i've been through um because of my size and how let's just say Ghanaians are not the nicest to big people 
in so that's that's for another day but anyways i mean it all this contributed to how i thought about myself and uh, what's it called and um availed myself like in certain spaces or in all spaces in general but anyways part of my learning process and this whole journey is to make myself useful and so I, I i started to get involved i knew i didn't want to just be there as one of the young people that and i wanted to make myself useful so i started doing announcements i know it sounds small but it's also one of the things that i look forward to it's an avenue for me to interact with everyone because i'm up there making announcements so i can talk to people you know say something nice make people laugh so it's also it's one it's one of the highlights of my meetings of of the meetings but i think in general um it's just like i said you know being with young people you know we're all trying to figure out this world and you know our life and how uh, and where we fit in and how god can help us in all that and so it's also very it, it's very there, there's something it, it it's it's healing it's therapeutic you know because you know that oh you know, there's people in this space that can relate to you sure it's take you some time to open up and to get to know them but you have to be patient with yourself as first i was doubting <laughs> but now <laughs> i was very what's it called I'm, I'm not a very patient person let me just see it i'm not patient I'm even less patient to myself. So if I start doing things and I don't see results, I'm like, what's the point? But obviously that's not how life works. And so at first I was like, oh, this is not Ahava Kigali. Because I feel like Ahava Kigali, we clicked instantly. Also because all the people within that space were all, most of us were foreigners um, in another man's land. So we bonded over you know more than our struggles or growths or w's in our relationship with god but i mean living in another country away from home school drama landlord drama hey but um charlie and so it was easier for everything to click there than easily gone but i'm glad i was patient with myself and i was patient with you know the fellowship and now it's it's i look forward to wednesdays every wednesday even if i'm late which i'm going to work on you guys i'm so sorry for being late almost all the time i'm sorry but um what's it called I'm going to work on that I have a a problem with being punctual but um i always it's the highlight of my week and so i think my advice to you as a small girl <laughs> is to find a fellowship something that you look forward to every week um obviously maybe one thing is not enough to sustain you um i'm slowly coming to find that maybe i need to find more things i look forward to <laughs> during the week but you can always start from one and for me it's i have a kigali through east east legon i have a east legon it was kigali but east legon oh charlie my mind is still there but i'm here and it's it's one of it's my favorite thing it's my favorite thing ever anyways you see me with this scarf someone told me today oh that oh it's very rare to see someone rock scarf at a youth fellowship i said that's right talk to me girl talk to me talk to me nice or don't talk to me what twice okay so yeah because i wore like i wore this dress with a jean jacket and this scarf and i was just feeling very you know with my handbag like the working class girl that i am <laughs> now that i'm working class girl no more tote bags although i do have several tote bags shout out to distant relatives um what's it called no more like the bags over here. no no now we have handbags the one that you put in your elbow over here and you carry it like yeah you're that girl yeah we've advanced we're up there <sighs> and you are saying yeah 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 but really the situation under this cuff is not presentable to the general public and one of the things they don't tell you 
as an adult no right now they even tell you you now you know your heart that being a woman is expensive it's very expensive it's it's so expensive from the hair products if you're a natural hair girl hair products they say we should do shampoo we should do conditioner we should do deep conditioner we should do leave in we should do oil we should do a, a seal we should do this we should do that oh bondage one natural natural hair that will keep all these things if you don't do that when you want to braid now they're saying one pack of braids 45 hey 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 my head is big so i'll use like five just 45 times five the mass people do the mass i'm not a mass girl then workmanship it will start from 100 cities ah the nss people the NSS women, you are the real heroes because that money you are managing, plus traffic, transport. Ah, God has seen you, people. Why? He has seen you. Eee! Anyways, me, I said, oh, let me embrace my natural hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see her. Let me tell you, my my hair routine <laughs> is just shampoo and luckily we have some two-in-one shampoo in the house. The shampoo and conditioner. Oh well, yeah, that one. Then I have Inkuto. My leave-in conditioner is finished. I've been using it for a year. <laughs> it decided to finish yesterday. I said, okay, cool. It's not every day we have to condition the hair. There's already conditioner in this shampoo, this two in one, this in our using. I said, okay, that's cool. I have inkuto. That's all I need. I have water. So now I washed my hair last night. But I had this terrible allergic reaction. I was just sneezing like a bush girl. Sneezing, sneezing. I don't know who sent me. I said, oh, come to do a new hair. So I saw that. Oh, I saw some hair be some girl you did like she used she used braids well i was like oh this one i'll twist my hair i'll do the this thing and i also want to do hair that i don't have to touch up every week because it's stressful every three days that's another decision so i said well let me sit down hey i was just sneezing some terrible cold ah oh, god cold thing eh? cold <sighs> anyways so here i am now i have to find a way to i want to do twists from the back and then cornrows in front so help me god i will come back with the end results depending on when i finish because now if i have to braid i've divided it into four so i'll twist 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 and then when we come to the top i'll do the cornrows eee. you guys if you don't start learning how to do your hair women god bless you god bless women why god bless us ah hey come on come to do my hair why bye